What is going on guys and welcome back to the channel. Now right behind me we got Project CB9 and I think there's something majorly wrong with this car. Now I've already had this engine opened up twice now. Once to replace the cam seals and a second time to reseal the cam cap retainers and I'm still getting an oil leak. From my understanding I believe the crankcase has some excessive pressure and it's forcing oil out the upper crankcase. So with that said we're going to go ahead and get a compression test on this car. Hopefully this H22 is in good shape, but if not, this is gonna be bad news for this car. So without further ado, let's go ahead and do a compression test on Project CB9. Okay, huge day for Project CB9. We'll see what fate has in store. Now, as I mentioned before, I believe I've got some excessive pressure in the upper crankcase, and I've got some bad blow-by. Now, what that means is if you got bad blow-by, that means you got bad piston rings. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and do a compression test on this engine. So first things first, before we go and get started on the kick panel on the driver's side, go ahead and remove the fuse for the fuel pump because you don't want fuel going into the cylinders while we're doing this test. So first things first, I need to go ahead and remove this cover with the four 10 millimeter bolts. And then I'm gonna go ahead and remove all the plug wires and I'm gonna take the spark plugs out. And once the spark plugs are out, I'll go ahead and take my compression tester and plug that thing in with the threads. And then we're going to do a few cranks on the engine, and then we're going to go ahead and record the reading what the PSI is. So I believe the spec for Honda is 185 to 215 for the H22. And we're also looking for inconsistencies as well. So if there's like a drop of 20% and the other three are okay within that range, we got some bad news. So anyhow, let me go ahead and show you guys what a compression tester looks like. So this is all there is to it with a compression tester. You got the gauge and the hose and you got an adapter right there. So once we're done with a few cranks on the motor, we'll go out of the car on the engine bay and we'll go ahead and see what this reading is. And this is the button right here to reset the gauge. And then we'll move on to the next cylinder. So, all right, let's go ahead and start taking this motor apart, at least on the top side. And we'll go ahead and see what happens here. All right, went ahead and removed all four spark plugs. And I put all the spark plugs in front of the camera so you can see, but here's another close-up. Look a little bit fouled up, but not too bad. I do see a little rust spot there on the top there where the intersection of the ceramic meets the metal. So anyways, let's go ahead and get this compression tester set up for a Honda motor. So I'm gonna take this adapter right here, put it side by side with a spark plug, and those threads look identical. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this adapter and attach it to the end of the compression tester right there. And then we'll go ahead and thread it into the first spark plug and we'll do some cranks. So let me go ahead and get this compression tester set up. All right guys, got the compression tester hooked up to cylinder number one. Now I'm not gonna lie, I'm pretty nervous about this. As you can see, I put a lot into work in this car, getting this H22 swapped in and trying to resolve all these issues. So we're gonna see what the results of this compression tester is, but you know, if it's bad, this may be the end of the H22. So, you know, I'm just crossing my fingers, it's something else, but you know, I don't have any high confidence on this H22 because I've heard that the piston rings are a weak spot on this motor, so. You guys can correct me or not, but that's just what I've heard. So, so I'm gonna go ahead, turn the engine over five to 10 times, and I'm gonna record the reading of what that gauge says. I'm gonna do that across the other three cylinders as well. So wish me luck. Let's see what happens here. All 
All right, guys, first cylinder, 180 pounds. Let's move on to the second cylinder. Looks to be at 185 PSI. Okay, we ran out of daylight last night, so let's continue on with the test. So cylinder one, cylinder two is taken care of. Now let's test out cylinder three. And the test results from cylinder number three looks to be about 209 PSI. I'm just paying close attention to this gauge right here just to see if there's any reduction in pressure, but I'm not seeing that. And the compression tester is hooked up to cylinder number four. So let's go ahead, turn over the motor a few times and see what the reading is. Now, I don't know if you guys can see that, but that's about 200 PSI right there. Alrighty guys, got the compression tester rehooked up to cylinder number one. Now last night, these two read much lower than what these two did this evening. So I'm gonna go ahead, make sure I'm not doing any errors. So I'm gonna get in the car, give the motor a few turns over and see what kind of readings we have because these two are significantly lower than what these two are reading. So let's go ahead, retry this one. Okay, cylinder number one looks like 150 PSI. That's extremely low right there. I'm not happy with that result. Let's go ahead and test out cylinder number two. Cylinder number two, compression test, part two. I don't know if you guys can see that, that's about 190 PSI right there. Now, just to recheck cylinder number one, I got the compression tester hooked back up. Let's do a second test on this because I didn't trust that first result. I don't know if you guys can see that. That's 170 PSI. Significantly lower than number three and number four. Okay, since the initial compression test results came out, and I went ahead and posted information on H Online, which is basically a Facebook community for the H22 engine, a lot of people went ahead and said, go ahead and test it with wide open throttle or WOT. Now, what does that mean? Basically keep your foot on the gas pedal. So essentially, I'm gonna do one more compression test on all four cylinders before I return this compression tester to AutoZone, and we're gonna do it WOT or wide open throttle or basically hold the gas pedal down. So let's go ahead reattach this to the engine and do four compression tests. Okay, compression test number one, WOT or wide open throttle. PSI is around 155. Let's go ahead and disconnect it and put on cylinder two. Okay, compression test number two, cylinder number two, wide open throttle or WOT, about 190 PSI. Let's go ahead, check out cylinder number three. Okay, compression test number three, WOT, cylinder number three, roughly about 210 PSI. Let's go ahead and check the final cylinder. And last but not least, cylinder number four, compression test number four, WOT, about 210 PSI. Let's go ahead and take that pressure off. And then we'll go ahead, put the plug wires back into the cylinders, and then put the spark plug cover back in place. We'll continue to drive this car until we figure out what we're gonna do.
Okay, now one more important thing about this compression tester right here is most of the imports require this adapter. So make sure you really tighten this adapter onto the hose itself using two three quarter inches. I mean, really tighten this thing down because when I first put this in the spark plug on number three, this thing got stuck in there. Had to figure out how to get this thing out. Basically take a long flathead screwdriver, jam in there and then twist it out. It was a little scary at first, but I found a YouTube video explained how to do so, but just do yourself a favor and take the three quarter inch right here and the three quarter inch right here and just really tighten down this thing because this adapter can get stuck into the cylinder head. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead, undo the adapter from the hose itself, connect the hose back onto the gauge, put everything back in the case, return this to AutoZone for my refund, and we should be good to go. Well, alrighty guys, that wraps up the compression test on the H22 for Project CB9. Now, what exactly is results telling us? That cylinder number one is reading extremely low, 155 to 170 PSI, versus cylinders two through four, which is 190 to 210 PSI. Now, technically, you're supposed to be in a 10% variance, and obviously cylinder number one is not reading that way. So I believe the next step of the process is we're gonna do a leak down test on the H22, and we're gonna be able to find out if it's piston rings, head gasket, or valves. I'm not quite sure, but my assumption is it's gonna be piston rings. Now, I'm not quite sure what's gonna be in store for this H22, shall it be piston rings? But all I can say is K20, K24 might be coming soon. So hope you guys can stay tuned for the next episode. And if you found this video helpful or entertaining, please give me a thumbs up. Thanks for watching and have a fantastic day.